easier to just go ahead and have him lead it while he's. I'm going to show him. Sorry. Yeah. Turn it off. Push it in. All right. He can lead it Sorry, down. It's okay. So when he's ready to take his pack off, I'm going to catch his pack. A lot of times they do this for each other, but if we've got people working to rehab, you know, this is one thing that y'all will be definitely able and be welcome to do. Got it? Yep. Got the pack. Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm going to take this over and put it with all the dirty pack. I'm going to start. We'll worry about that and we'll get it changed out. All right. So do you like to take your hood off by yourself, or would you rather? I mean, most people would rather pull their hood back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. See, people are going to probably do that all on their own. Yeah. So now, before he does anything, he's got to start wiping because he's broke the seal on his mask. He's got dirty hands. Yeah. Soot all around. So now, now, I'm so now I need a wipe. Yeah. And then I would start kind of doing the neck. If we're coming out, out, what a lot of folks will do is they'll they'll start to kind of like open that up because we're hot. Yeah. You know, and then we'll take this off. And then we'll actually start to do the cleaning around our necks. Yeah, I, I told them now that with the way we're doing their hoods, most people are going to keep their hood because they're going to keep, they have two hoods, and they're going to keep those two hoods and wash them themselves. So they'll get their spare hood before they go back in. So we won't be doing as much of the collecting hoods and giving them to the BC to wash anymore. All right. So we'll get him out of his coat. I'm assuming it's not too cold. Come out of his coat, he's got to rest for 20 minutes. During that time, once he's been deconned, he can, he can start giving fluids. Do you have to wipe your hands again since you just touched the outside would, of your yeah, coat? I mean, yeah, honestly. And a lot of times we'll do this too. Um, I can't think of at the last live burn, I don't know if we had a full decon set up with the fan and everything. I know at Pricewood, I remember you guys were at Pricewood, mm -hmm. and I don't remember at Port Road, I don't think it was so but yeah, we would have an area where we would actually start taking some of our gear off. Mm -hmm. um, we may have a fan set up to help blow some of that particulate, some of that soot and stuff off of us. Um, but yeah, I would, every time I touch something, I would want to clean my hands before mm -hmm. I take my face or wipe my eye or start drinking or eating. That's a big one too. Um, 